just finished work, currently waiting at traffic lights, ready to pelt myself on a bicycle as close to the train station as I can get, so I can go to London and see Lee's, so we can watch Cleopatra together at the Electric Ballroom. Excited. Very grateful that someone on the night shift let me cut work a little bit early. What an absolute geezer. Thank you for wearing a face covering if you can, as a courtesy to others. So I'm just waiting for the train um, at Cambridge Station. Lee's has gone in early and he's interviewed the band. And so for the first time ever, we are mixing the gig vlog with an in-person interview. Now it has been over a year since we last did an interview on Punk Press and I am just insanely so proud of Lee's. I couldn't get off work early to come and help with the interview, but he's absolutely smashed it on his first ever solo interview outing. And yeah, what a fucking way to start the ball rolling. You've got this, you don't need to be nervous. You've got this, you've got this, you've got this. Just do that just to make, just to make sure we've actually got everything in shot. I think we do. So if I sit down and say, hello, hello, hello. And I'll double check it. Hi guys, this is Josh here from Punk Press. I'm here with Luke and Ian from Cleopatra. Like I said, thank you very much for some of my talking to us guys, I really appreciate it. So my name's been Josh from Punk Press, thank you very much to Luke and Ian, and we'll see you later, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. So just getting out of um, interviewing Cleopatra, that was fucking incredible. I've been so like nervous and worried about it all week, and now it's gone so well. They're literally the loveliest boys ever, and uh, yeah, waiting for old France to get in whenever he gets here. But in the meantime, I'm gonna go and get fucking leathered. Lots of love. Okay, right at King's Cross, pacing it now. The show has started, I'm already missing the support act, which sucks. I hate going to gigs on fucking work nights, but we're gonna get there, we're gonna have a fucking awesome time. <sighs> Gassed. Right, Northern Line, Camden Town. Let's go. Oh, we're in Camden. Uh, we're going the opposite way. You know, we can literally go in the venue to piss. Yeah, but I want to have some more business. <laughs> Fair enough. I wish you were here about an hour ago. I was fucking buzzing off my tits. There. I was, I was just vibrating. I was so fucking like, you know, put it like, you know, adrenaline and shit from doing that gas. shit. Pure gas. Whereas, gas now, whereas now, an hour later, I'm, it's all burnt off, and I'm just fucking. <gasps> Didn't I say I'm, that? I'm full of beer gas. It, it, it's been such a long time since I've done a fucking interview in person, but like you, you, you do get so nervous. Yeah. And honestly, like yeah, I've no reason get, to. Yeah. That thing that you get afterwards, it's just like you've, it's like you spaffed your there's, pants. There's so much excess, excess adrenaline because you just sat there, you know, doing, yeah. just talking. But obviously, you, you had to like. <laughs> I'm I'm so excited for this gig and I'm so it's fucking proud. Incredible. Of what I'm you've done really, really pumped. Prior to this. Greenfields. Greenfields. Pump for Greenfields. It's fucking. <laughs>
on to Projector and Ready the Prince because we're so honored to play a show with that caliber of a band opening for us. The song is about friendship.
Uh, I gotta be honest with you guys, I just fully started that one in the wrong tuning, so... We might as well just start again. Yeah, let's get a round of applause for honesty. We all learned something today. So, your first key of the gig, what do you hear? <laughs> Outside the electric ballroom. What do you reckon to your first time seeing Cleopatra? It's not my first time seeing, no, seeing Cleopatra. It? It's my first time seeing the see headline gig. It was fucking pretty good, man. I, I, I had a really good time. They put on a fucking solid performance. And even though I haven't really dedicated myself to the album the way that you have, I still feel like I know a lot of the songs because they are fucking catchy. And the two, no, the three new, new songs they've played are good. Tell me a fucking sick. Right. Uh, Candidatization. I, I need. I need contact this payment. Right. Good shit. I don't know. Me neither. And what I meant to say. Please, I've got so many shots of your like like <laughs> non lit face in the crowd singing along, thinking this is going to be great. We didn't do proper introductions. This is Issy. Hello. Hello. Issy with two S's. Apparently. Issy with two S's. We're on a train, we're going home, um, this was a good gig, I smell 
of sweat and, uh, and disappointment. Cleo Patrick is sick. I, I really enjoyed um, seeing my first time uh, watching them as a headline performance. Uh, I think it's fair to say that the interview went really well. I'm very proud it of this went, guy here. It went as well as it could possibly go, which Absolutely. is very good. And I, and I was I was so gassed, but now I'm so tired. Absolutely, but all, that, probably, all that nervousness paid off. I'll probably be a big gas again in about five hours time when I wake up for work. <sighs> Fucking this, well, this month is this gonna month be, is going to be an absolute slog. Very so well. just in, in conclusion, in conclusion, um, good gig, but but they are turning twenty three. I'm getting married, but that's not a year ago. So that's um, I've missed it. Sorry, have you got divorced? Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Never, never. Please don't tell my girlfriend. Oh, really? <laughs> is. is he an answer? Is he an answer? <laughs>